Tony, welcome back to my channel, Soul Channel Shades. So we're here back for another video and a pretty badass video, uh, should I say, because I've got, um, if you guys saw my video uh, a few days ago, I had mentioned that I had something pretty cool to show you guys, to share with you guys, and it came in uh, the other day. And uh, in fact, uh, um, the package was sent to the wrong address. Um, after um, the address was fixed, it still got sent to the wrong, wrong address. It was, uh, I don't understand how that happened. Uh, but the package was actually um, uh, damaged on the outside and I was worried that the uh, stuff in the inside of the box was gonna be all messed up. Luckily, there was just a, a small, um, uh, I'll show you here in a minute, uh, issue with one of the, with, with something in the box, but um, everything came out good anyways. But without further ado, uh, you guys will already know what these are. I got a razor scent from Fine Accoutrements. And uh, if you haven't watched any of these reviews as of lately, uh, you will see that all of the uh, three base plates came, or should I say the three piece came in these little uh, pouches, um, uh, or should I say uh, uh, Ziploc bags, and I will get to it here. So um, I'll show you the uh, label and then you can pause and so I can continue not to make the video too long. So pause here so you can see this. So that is the info for the cap, the top cap. Here is the info for the base plate, bottom base plate. And then here is the info for the razor. Again, pause so you can see this. And that is the um, information there. And here is the razor. It's got a... <coughs> Uh, fingerprints and everything all over it but really really awesome razor um, nice mirror finish it's got some lint and towel stuff um, it's got because uh, the grip on this is so good it, it's got lint and the towel um, towel lint and everything on it but um, really really awesome razor I, I didn't think much of it when I saw it on their website um, and, uh, but when I got it, oh man, I was so pleased with it. So this was sent for a review. Let me try to pick that up, there we go. It says, world's finest razor on the bottom of the handle there. And the uh, knurling on this thing is just absolutely amazing, very grippy. And uh, this was a razor that was designed to be uh, marketed after, or should I say design marketed, whatever you wanna call it, after the Gillette open comb, like the Jeanette, Gillette new open comb, and I will show you a few comparisons there. There's the bottom of the cap there that also says world's finest razor. And if you guys can see, it's like a semi open comb. And I've got some comparisons here to show you guys. Here is the top cap that's also engraved on the bottom, world's finest razor. World's finest, world, what does it say? World's finest, yes. So I think some say world's finest razor or world, yeah, they all say world's finest. Um, so, um, this razor um, was, uh, I believe, uh, marketed or, um, designed after this razor here um, and I'm going to show you something because I don't have okay so I, I'm going to have to show you two different razors for a reason okay uh, because they make the new with the same handle but not this top cap it comes with a cap like this a, ra a razor head and this they're both deluxes but one is a deluxe um, uh, travel that comes in a clamshell and then this is the uh, deluxe uh new and um so in reality you can get one of these and i'll show you here in just a minute um that will look like this and uh, if you guys followed me when i did my reviews of those razors that were sent the gillette news from gray dog this is what the razor looked like so this is what the razor is i believe marketed after if you guys can, i'm trying to be in focus here there we go. See, with the, um, I call these like the saber tooth um, 
bottom there the little bottom uh i forgot can't think of the name right now sorry but um try my best to see the camera and focus because everything's backwards so i'm <laughs> having a hard time and, and it's off to the side because I, i'm looking in the mirror because i have the camera facing the other way in the other direction um so i could see it because i it's on a mount and i can't see it over the mount so i gotta sneak off to the side so so you see how the heads look similar and then the handles kind of look how similar to the handles kind of keep that old school if you guys see this here this here same with the knurling somewhat um towards the end yeah it's really hard to focus sorry guys i'm doing my best because it's um trying to capture the picture in the background there we go something there you go there you go so not 100 percent uh exactly the same so sorry sorry about that so um yeah you, you can see the the height difference there uh and it's <clears throat> similar to the um height of the uh uh, Marvel and um, the open comb is similar to the um, you guys can see the Mila R41 see how it's got like the toots that round over obviously uh, the uh, R41 is a bit wider um, but there is some nice gap in this fine razor and if you're curious to see how big it is against a 34 a 34G, there you have it. It's not uh, too terribly long over it, but there you have it. So just some, some just some uh, some comparisons, um, and uh, with that also, um, they sent me. And, I mean, it make it makes sense. They sent me the travel uh, the travel case. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out here. And I did not know they made one. This is what the back of the case looks like there. Um, I had to secure that because um, it actually folded over in the package, sadly. Um, but nothing else was damaged. So here's what the pouch looks like closed. But check this out. The simplest things, man, it, it really, I, I get happy with the simplest things. But look at how the inside looks. It's got their logo all the way through. So they redesigned this in their own imagination of, or should I say they redesigned, um, I guess you can say they brought back their version of the Gillette um, khaki set. I will post some pictures of the khaki set of what it looks like. Just, just, I mean, it's cool because, you know, it's their, their way of bringing back a, a khaki set along with making an old school Gillette razor in their own, in their own uh, image, should, should, should I say. Um, and I thought that was really cool. So I will post some pictures of what it looks like when the razor and blades um, are in there. But man, what an awesome, awesome gift. Thank you very much to everyone over there at Fine for sending this over. I really am very pleased and honored to do this review for you guys. And let me set all my stuff aside over here. Get some water going. So I hope you all are well and doing great, having fantastic shaves. I myself, I'm hoping to have a great one uh, as well. And um, they also sent me the new aftershave from, um, it's called Latigo. And I guess this is a... Um, uh, uh um, ah damn it what is it called um 
leather diesel leather diesel and, and talc yeah leather diesel and talc just making sure that my camera is still focusing um or recording i i don't have it on airplane mode because i'm waiting for a phone call so if you guys see a glitch or a skip you'll know why because i had to answer a phone call so let's get into the aftershave here i have not used this product i have smelt it um i can't be doing um mail calls at the moment because of covid i don't want anything in my house without cleaning it out there first or unboxing so um no more mail calls or unboxings for the moment and um so i have got a chance to smell it but uh here you are this is Ladigo. and um <clears throat> the scent i thought um smell I, I was trying to figure out what can i use and smell something similar to this because the scent smelled similar and i couldn't figure out what it was i thought it was um uh 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 Leviathan because my brother Tony had uh, mentioned it to me. I want to go smell it and it smelled like it at the time. But then when I came back and smelled, I was like, no, that wasn't it. That's not it. I figured out what it was. It smells like this here. Clemens, uh, Clemens Special Reserve. Um, it smells very, very, very close to this. Really, really good. Um, and I figured, what can I use for soap? And I mean, it's no surprise. You guys already saw it in the intro. But um, I had to go with this again, um, just to just to complement the the scent of the aftershave, and that's what we're gonna go with there. Really, really nice scent. Um, really dig it. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the diesel. I don't know if that's an actual diesel like diesel f um, fuel scent, or if there's a diesel scent out there that's not. Do you guys get what I'm saying? <laughs> if there's an actual scent called diesel, I don't know, but. Um, I can pick up the talc and I can pick up the leather, but uh, smells really good, very masculine. Um, this is not something that uh, a lot of you would enjoy. It's, it's uh, I guess you can say like an acquired scent. I don't think the scent will be for everyone. And brush of choice, I'll be going in with that down rub uh, brush here. Uh, my uh, spalted oak, sp my spalted spaghetti oak on resin. And uh, remember again, this is a soft soap. So let's get into a shave. Sorry for the long intro there. Um, just uh, really wanted to give you guys some information on um, on that new razor um, and the aftershave. So I have not long gotten out the shower, but long enough for my whiskers to dry up. I haven't used any uh, pre-shave or prep I'm just gonna go into it and uh, I will show you my blade of choice in just a minute you guys already know what it is though all right sorry for the rain water all right so yeah man um really good i was supposed to go out to work today um for those of you guys who don't know i am an over over the road truck driver and uh load got canceled that's what happens now and again and uh we're going out tomorrow today is sunday the day of this recording don't know when i'll release it The cold days are upon us, and I am a big fan of the cold weather. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, so, I will start start bringing out all my fall scents, my cold scents, the scents that I enjoy during the cold, the cold season, around winter.
lots of lavender. I've got a few um, spearmint, peppermints. Cedars, tobacco. Did I say lavender already? I think I did. Um, especially this one here, really awesome. Um, this one here, Fujir Gothic, really awesome scents. along with this blade because um i accidentally when i was cleaning um i bumped the blade so i don't want to get rid of them yet <clears throat> i'm going to be using a perma sharp and the thing is also i don't know if it's the one that's got um three uh three shaves or it's the other blade that's got a few shaves so we shall see unfortunately i already <laughs> took the picture so if I have to change the blade um, I'm gonna leave it as is and I'll leave the picture as is and I'll use a different blade so first pass to see how we do here so far very smooth Now I want to mention something very important. I know there's a few guys who have reviewed this razor. Some have said it's very mild, uh, but you have to take into consideration if you're one who shaves continuously, uh, especially if you've been uh, in the service, um, stuff like that, they make you shave every day from what I was told. My cousin Frank was in the army. So I know some of that is true. So if you have to shave every day, you would develop what you would call, um, you would develop like leather skin, so to speak. Um, So you develop leather skin and you don't feel the blade as others do. And um, for those of us who can only shave once every three days or once every four days like myself, because of my hair growth is very coarse, it's another uh, issue. And I had an ingrown here, so we're gonna lop that off right now. So take these reviews um, as case by case because not everybody's reviews are gonna be the same and for all, all, all for different reasons. So right now, this razor feels very smooth. Um, Feels, um, feels good. No tugging from the blade. So, 
so we'll see how we get on on my rest of the passes here. Yeah, so you guys know, already know, my coarse hair is a pain in the butt because when it comes, when it grows back in, it grows in extremely coarse in the first day or two. Case in point. I've heard that um, something as simple as a 34C was aggressive and I couldn't get any shaves out of that razor. It was very mild for me. And for others, it works really well. Same thing with soap, same thing with brushes. Everybody's different. One person will get along with something and the other person doesn't like it. So, always try things out for yourself before you take anyone's word. So, this razor might be mild for me when I finish the shave. And if it is, I will let y'all know. Let's see what we do against the green. All right. So this and this will be my trouble spot. And so far, so good.
So I'm gonna do my Pinot Passes off camera. And um, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Let's get in with the Elm stick. <sighs> All right, so yes, the razor is a bit too mild. But still was able to get a good shave. It just took a little extra work and buffing and stretching to get the shave that I wanted. So to the people over at Fine, if you can make the razor just a bit more, uh, widen the gap a little bit. Oh, that'd be great. It, this is um, a little a little more milder than a 34C, uh, Mercury 34C. Let me rinse this out and I'll be right back. All right. Ah, oh, man, it smells good. It smells just like leather. Let's get in with the aftershave splash. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. Mm. This smells really good. Man, that smells really good. All right, yes, I'm digging that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do a recap. We went in with Declaration Grooming, uh, uh, Cure It Spices. Uh, <laughs> it's got like tobacco, um, uh, leather and cedar and some other stuff in there. I might sh don't remember the, the scent, um, but there is what the soap looks like there. Uh, brush of choice was my That Darn Rub. With the V4 Fanchurian 26 millimeter badger. Um, spaghetti spalted oak um, on resin. Uh, razor of choice was the fine um, uh, world's finest razor, uh, semi-open comb stainless steel um, that was sent over by fine accoutrements themselves along with the uh, aftershave, uh, splash, uh, latigo. Um, really, really awesome uh, scent. I really dig that scent. Um, and went in with the uh, Gillette um, Perma sharks. Hey, sorry guys, I almost forgot to mention the uh, blade exposure for any of, you, any of you guys who are interested in the blade exposure, as well as the um, overhang. So there is an overhang there and the blade gap. And uh, I will now let you guys return to the rest of the shave video. That is my shave, guys. Really, really awesome. <clears throat> really awesome shave. Hope you guys enjoyed fine. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please comment down below uh, if you have any questions, if you have anything to say. If you guys like what you see, as always, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys all on the next shave. Later.